What is up everybody? This is AJ from Alpha Pixel bringing you a freebie for the new R20 release that is out next week. As many of you may have seen, most of your plugins will not work in the new version. Although the fine print on that is all of your C++ plugins will not work in the new version. Your Python versions are safe. However, there's one plugin that most C40 users have in their plugin list and that plugin is the infamous drop to floor plugin. Now, unfortunately, that plugin is a C++ plugin, so the drop to floor will no longer work in R20 and above. I'm not sure if the original creator plans on updating that or not, and like many of you, you may have panicked when you saw that news, but I've gone ahead and built drop to floor with Python, so it will be available in R20 on release. And as always, you can pick that up from my site in the freebies download section. For those of you unfamiliar with drop to floor, as the name implies, it will take your object, it will find its lowest point, and it will reposition the object so that the lowest point sits at the top of the floor plane. So just to show that here, we have our figure, and here is the old blue balls and shaft icon from drop to floor, and here is my new Python built drop to floor icon. And so far I've tested them side by side and they do exactly the same thing. All you do is just a one button click and it will bring your object up to the floor. And also it works with deformers. So if I turn on my deformer, if I unhide it here and just put a little deformation on it, we'll just bend our guy and we'll rotate him. Whoa. Oops, let's rotate the guy here and bring him back up and we will drop him to the floor. And sure enough, the plugin also takes into account deformed points. Um, here we have a standard uh, primitive landscape. So if we go ahead and hit that, we can drop to the floor and I'll just spin it on its top here and just drag it out a little bit more and hit drop to floor again. You'll see it does put that very top point to the floor. And of course it works with hierarchies of objects as well. We've got these three objects and we can go ahead and it will set it to the lowest point. And here we have a free model from the Alpha Pixel download page. And just to show you that we ha it has this insane hierarchy of objects, all kinds of things and sweeps and deformers and cloners and you name it, it's all in there. So if we just go ahead and grab that top object there that the bike um, null at the very top and hit drop to floor. Sure enough, it jumps up and will find that lowest point of your object. And just to prove it again, we can spin it around and hit it again, and there you go. So there you have it, pretty simple and straightforward. The drop to floor plugin lives, and I will have some other freebies on the page as well. I'm gonna put out some Cinema 4D icons with version numbers on them, so we don't get lost in our dock with another blue ball icon. And also, once the full version is out, I will be doing some testing on some other new freebies, so check back for those. So head on over to the freebie section and pick up your drop to floor so you're all set and ready for the R20 release next week. And thanks for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.